What's up, everybody? We are back, and guess what? Prusa Slicer released. I mean, it just came out. It's here. That's super cool. Um, <laughs> so all my other videos have been on Slicer Prusa Edition, or as some people call them Slick 3R Prusa Edition. Uh, we are we are now in the world of Prusa Slicer by Joseph Prusa. Um, so nothing's really changed. They have a long list of cool things that they've done. They have a new logo and the new splash screen uh, that they posted there on the on the Twitterverse. And then, of course, um, there's a long, long list of things on the GitHub, which will I will post in the description. That way you can find them and read all about the changes. Um, I was just using a Slicer Prusa Edition uh, Beta 2. We have moved past that. We're now in a release candidate of Prusa Slicer 2.0. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and configure this. Let's go ahead and set it up. So, I mean, how to configure Prusa Slicer. So let's hit next. And we have to add all our printers. So let me see here. Um, yes, we have a Mark 3S. Yes, I have a Mark 3. Yes, I have a Mark 3S MMU2S. And yes, I have a Mark 3 MMU2. Yes, I have a Mark 2.5S and a Mark 2.5. And I don't have anything else. Uh, I will click next. I do have an SL1. Click next, don't need to do any custom printers, and next. And this of course is check for application updates, of course, and of course update built in presets automatically, that's a good idea. So finish, and boom, here we are. Uh, pretty easy, pretty cool. Um, it's already selected a base everything. Let's throw it on some, some Prusament PLA here, and let's move it to the point two po profile, because you know, we need some speed profile here. So not much has changed. One thing I read that I want to show you, I mean, that's just the setup, but let's look at one quick thing. Uh, let's go here to my downloads, and I'll put this uh, Grim Skull. It's supposed to be a vase. I won't, I won't make it a vase yet, but uh, let's go ahead and make some copies of it. First, let's shrink it. So let's do the uh, Shrinky Dink tool here, and boom. And let's go ahead and make, oh, we'll make three of them. Oop, wrong one. Got to go to expert mode. Forgot about this. So it starts out in simple mode. You've got advanced mode, you've got expert mode. Expert mode allows you to make more copies of something. Not sure why that's blocked in simple mode. So expert mode, let's go ahead and make a few copies of this. So here's a few copies. And one of the cool things I just read is you can actually multi-click things. So if I want to you know, line these two up and line these two up and this one go over here, I can be like, man, I really wanna move these two over here. Oh man, look at that. I gotta forget to deselect that one. But yeah, I can now command click on a Mac here and I can select multiple items and move them around. That is pretty darn sweet. So let's go ahead and hit an arrange button here. And it's arranging. There we go. All right. So we can do that. And I want to select these. So yeah, there's some cool new features. I haven't dug into it yet. It literally just announced. So that's the only thing I read that made me really intrigued to install it and try it. But it looks like it's stable. It's looking like it moves quickly still. Uh, slicing looks to be just as quick. Um, and yeah, there we go. So yeah, this this will print without supports. Look at that. Um, yeah, so that was your quick preview and setup of Prusa Slicer as well as one of the cool new features that they brought to us. So thank you, Prusa team. And thank you for everyone who's watching. Stay tuned for more Prusa Slicer videos.